or the stuff that you can do with your computer without having an internet connection. Um, and this is something I, I regularly complain about. Uh, the reason that we're covering the question about what are the fundamentals is because part of the beginning, the beginning of the beginner boost is figuring out who this is for. And one of the answers to that is people who may not have learned the fundamentals, but are already technologists employed in great jobs. And frankly, a lot of them are in the front end technology world. Uh, and that would have, uh, it, it to some degree included me. I mean, I, I learned, uh, you know, Dakota basic when I was a kid and then, you know, and then I kind of moved away from computers and then the internet happened and I thought that was really great. And I learned HTML and front end stuff. And then someone told me to learn Perl cause it was going to get me a job. And I actually called up an internet service provider and said, what's the number one thing I should learn. And they said, Perl, I learned it in 21 days, quit my job as a Russian cruise director and worked for an internet service provider in Oregon. And off I went. Um, and, at the time, uh, because they told me to learn Perl and some of that stuff, I ended up learning what I consider to be the fundamentals. And and they, they didn't have anything to do with the internet. Uh, the fundamentals to me are all of the things your computer was originally intended to do. The reason it's called a computer is because the people who invented computers needed to compute. They needed calculations. They needed things that cost them $100 an hour. The reason VisiCalc was, you know, the most popular software in history uh, when it first came out was because all of these accountants were paying hundreds of dollars an hour for mainframe access to calculate their spreadsheets. And so computers, you know, and then the, 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 the process uh, tables for, you know, astrophysics and, 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 and geology that, you know, Babbage, that's the way he made the original mechanical computer. And you, know, you can go on and on, you know, um, uh, the you know, railroad companies, the census, I mean, I'm reading the innovators, which is a great book, which we'll talk about. And it has a lot of examples of these original uses for computers. And the reason I bring it up is because I really believe that computers have, I, I wrote a, uh, a recent sort of Zettelkast and post about this, but computers have become our entertainment sources. And we've, they're like the television or a gaming system. We've forgotten that they are fundamentally tools that have been designed to help us uh, do arguably more productive things with our time. And so I believe that's the fundamentals, learning how to compute on your computer. And that means doing it without the internet. I, I, I love the internet and we, God knows we need it. Uh, Sun Microsystems went so far at one point in the 90s to say the network is the computer. And I think that's absolute BS. The computer is the computer. And, and there's some value in respecting the original inventors of the computer and learning how to use that part of the computer. Well, okay, so what does that have to do with, you know, learning the fundamentals? And what does it have to do with the beginner boost? Well, the, the fundamentals, therefore, are learning how to do computations, learning how to use a computer at the lowest level, learning how your computer works, you know, understanding what a CPU is, what the memory is, how many CPUs have, what's a core, uh, you know, how does how do I interact with the computer without all of this graphic stuff in the way? How can I get to the true power of the computer underneath the hood and all this pretty stuff that Steve Jobs and Smalltalk and, and, and Engelbart added, you know, to give us the graphic user interface, which is fine. But from the beginning of the graphic user interface, we have tended to look at computers as sort of, con you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking at, like your toaster, <laughs> you know, like an appliance, your computer is an appliance, and it's not so much, you know, a, a tool for computing. And, and I really think that that a lot of us have skipped over uh, learning how to use a computer in that way. And that means learning the command line. It means learning the terminal. It means learning an operating system that is closer to the hardware than any other operating system. And I'm speaking of Linux or BSD or Unix or any of these things. These are operating systems that the mainstream doesn't know about. Yet it runs most of all of the stuff that they use every day is being run on Unix systems, Unix and Linux systems, and they could barely even tell, even streetlights and everything. And yet we still fundamentally don't understand how all those things are happening. So I believe the fundamentals are understanding your computer from as close to the hardware as possible uh, without going too deeply into it and learning like assembly. I would love to teach assembly to beginners. 
Uh, but I, so I think we, we need to learn things like we need to learn the terminal first. We need to learn, um, you know, shell scripting so we can immediately benefit from, you know, small, easy commands such as, oh, I don't know, you know, you want to do some math calculation. Well, you could be in the middle of editing a file and just need to do some math. Now, uh, plus, you know, 45 times 4.4, you know, scale equals, equals 3. You know, and I can send that to BC and I have my, oops, and I, I should have a calculation if I didn't screw this up. Did I screw it up? I don't know. You're going to see I'm doing this live. Did I make a syntax error? What did I do wrong, guys? <laughs> I'm trying to send it to my calculator. There we go. I don't know why it's not doing it. <laughs> of course, I, I, I'm not going to clip that out. I'm just doing the Mr. Rogers thing. Should we start with something easier? All right, so let's do... Oh, you know what I did? Oh my god, I feel so embarrassed now. I was sending it to Bash. I was sending it to Bash and not BC. Yeah, I was. So 5 plus 45... 45, 45. I mean, you know, it's something, it's just something stupid. All right, so scale equals 2. I was, I, I'm was. i being very off BC. Well, maybe not. I'll have to put that out. Why is it not doing it? It's driving me crazy. BC is a calculator that's built in, and I'm just sending the code to the calculator. But for some reason, it's just not having it. <laughs> that, I might have to cut that part out of the video. Did I not do it that way? It's supposed to be... Oh, you know why? There we go. All right, scale equals two yeah i'm sorry i didn't have the blank line after it so it didn't know it didn't know what to do now it now it can't do it bc is at the point no i'm trying to send the current line to bc i had i had an error again <laughs> i'm leaving it in i'm leaving it in i'm leaving all this foolish in here maybe let's let's go back to a simpler calculation I'm 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 like spacing on something. There we go, there we go. So anyway, I mean other things too. I mean there's just like all kinds of little things you could do for I in uh, let's say zero four to ten uh, do echo hi there uh, number I uh, done and whoops. And I mean, I'm doing this all live, so watch it not work. <laughs> so I can write a little program and I can have that come out and actually do what I had it do. So stuff like that. I mean, yeah, just anything. I mean, th there's so many things you can do from the command line and the terminal that are so powerful that this is why, you know, scientists and everybody like to use it. But but I don't think you have to be a scientist to be interested in using the terminal and getting getting uh, getting started up. Yes, this is Bash. Thank you, uh, Bard Nona Senior, for that, for helping me through that struggle. Uh, BC is a, is a built-in calculator that comes with your system and Linux and everything. The point I'm just trying to make is that that is, all of this stuff is stuff that I consider fundamental uh, and that, you know, people are, consider fundamental learning web development now, and I don't necessarily believe that that's the case. I do think learning how to use the internet for communication or networked computers for communication is, is the next most important thing. Uh, and so, you know, knowing how to send email and all those things are all fundamental as well. Uh, but I believe they include these days, they include learning things like GitHub and GitHub. And we're going to talk about those essential services next. So, uh, like it or not, I'm going to leave all of that, um, that stuff in there. <laughs> uh, but the takeaway is the fundamentals are the things that your computer can do without a connection to the internet. Uh, and then if you have a connection to the internet, the, the things that you, that allow you to do to communicate, uh, over the internet with different things, but that includes computing, teaching, learning how to compute, to communicate, uh, how to take notes, how to, how to, um, use it as a tool, how to use a computer as a tool. And that means learning the command line. And it usually means learning an operating system besides, uh, you know, windows or Mac, even though if you, you can use those as a tool as well, you just have to know how to get, get to the power which is, which is underneath all the, the fancy um, icing and stuff that they put around that. All right, so I'm going to end that video.